What's going on, guys? You know, you know, here back again with another video. Today, we are reading some more Kagura Bachi. And we're in chapter 28. We're starting off this arc with a banger. Uh, we saw that Chihiro has the um, Cloud Gorger with him, which is very huge, extremely huge. I wasn't expecting that, but I'm excited to get into this chapter to see what they have planned for this arc or what they have planned for this fight coming forward. So, without further ado, let's get into it. Storehouse retcon log. Flip. November 4th. You okay? It's more exhausting than I expected. Maybe because it's a subspace, but it's hard to connect for too long. We'll have to just, uh, we'll just have to take it slow. So you're sure it's a subspace? It's in a subspace? Yeah. The way it's structured, it, could eat, it couldn't physically exist in this world. Huh. Is that what it looks like? That's what the storehouse looked like? It extends indefinitely above and below. Whoa, okay. If it did exist in this world, I'll jump there and snag the thing. So now, the question is, there will be an unbroken lineage of the clan leadership. Hmm. Hakari. He's playing with uh, the, the whatever, it looked like he hit his head and he runs towards the hero. Have you seen the leadership of the Sazanami clan get passed down? Has your dad been the boss since you were born? My grandpa retired because he was sick. Yeah, that's right. So my dad took over as the new boss. I'm wondering how they passed on the access to the storehouse. You know, like maybe a, cer a ceremony. That was the gosh. I thought that he. I thought someone else was saying the ceremony. There was some kind of ceremony. Do you remember what they did? It was a long time ago. I remember they did it in the underground cemetery. Cemetery. The Sazanami clan cemetery. It's got a sacred power. What kind of ceremony? Let me think. It was just the two of them. So I wasn't actually there. I see. So then, we found out how to do the ceremony and force the power to be transferred to Akari. Right? Yeah. If they had to do a ceremony to pass down the control of the storehouse to a new boss, I guess we were wrong about the insurance. It doesn't. Uh, it doesn't just pass over to the next boss automatically if the current one dies. So maybe he's telling the truth. If I die, the storehouse ceases to exist. November 6th. All right, two days pass. A door? That's what it looks like. There's no wall separating the room. Just a door. Is this a way out or a way in? Maybe it's an auction item. Could be. But generally, the items are encased. Uh, look at them. They all getting ice cream. Apart from the door, the ones, uh, the only other things not in cases are weapons that uh, seem to be used for fighting. Weird. Yeah, weird. Well then. Oh wait, that's. I think that's what he was teleporting during that one fight. That's what he was teleporting to his sons. Well then, there must be some way in the um, in and out from the outside world. I've seen uh, people enter and exit the storehouse a few times. Oh, they feed them. Finish. But nobody uses the door. Yeah, he teleports them in the mouth. In the mouth. In and out. Seems like they can teleport in and out from wherever. So there's a contradiction between that door and the way the storehouse functions. Even weirder. A door? Nobody uses? An emergency door. For example, say he was lying about the storehouse disappearing if he dies. And what actually ceases uh, to exist in access the uh, gosh, what exactly ceases to exist is access to the storehouse from this world. That way, if the boss dies, the storehouse continues to exist, but nobody can access it. Maybe the door is for emergency access, just to get the wares out. Uh, out if that happens. Okay, I see what they're planning. I see what they're into. I see what's going on. Well. Whatever it is, uh, whatever it's for, there is a door like it in, oh gosh, there's a door like it in this world. The theory gets way more convincing. Hockery calls him the, it's like the same <laughs> drawing of panel. You ever see this door anywhere? Door? It's okay if you have it. Given that even close family members don't know the workings of the storehouse, even if there is a door, it's probably highly classified information. Hmm? That door? I don't know. Wait, that crest. Okay, we're back in the present looking at the chandelier. What was that noise? Uh, uh, he's here, which means he's figured it out. 
the emergency access door, the storehouse's insurance, and the only way you could breach it. Dale, your target is the lower level beyond, uh, below this one. Entrance, above ground, underground, the venue, and then under that is the uh, door. Yup, there's the door, and it's behind. Uh, look at how it's locked up. The lowest level of the Rakizachi. Nagi no Gion. The Nagi no Gion. Okay, I'm messing. Chihiro Rokihira is here. Go. Don't worry about guard duty. Go kill him. Don't let that 50 million yen escape. Oh. Are they talk? Are they? It sounds like, yeah, the guards are going. He's on the move. I'm so glad uh, Chihiro Rokihira uh, was good enough to come. As usual. The post, uh, the post humorous item, uh, the, the post humorous item, the Enten will be worth more than Sanichi. You aren't the seller. The Enten change hands when the trade, uh, when you trade it for Hakari. I can target your life without guilt. Now, gentlemen. Hi right there in the car. It's just them in the car. You know what? Watch this kid, please. Oh wait, he just teleports in the car. I guess it was just like in the random location. Hakari, you ready? Yeah. He grabs him. It's time for us to head in. First, Chihiro. Buzz, uh, first, Chihiro buzz, gosh. First, Chihiro busts through the front door. It still works, even though it's broken. Yeah, but I can't tell. Um, I can't tell it's close to finish. It's down to just the embers. After a few more moves, the Cloud Gorger will be done. Oh, if someone's going to use it up. It might as well be me. May. Oh, the blade is still broken. The blade is so broken, so he's kind of handicapped at the moment. What? Lightning? Never mind that. Oh, crap. Kill him. It's so dark, and he's just shredding through. Whoa, look at someone's head, someone's arm. People are cutting half. He's gone. He's fast, but that's all. Calm down. Target the light source. What? Did you see that? Oh, did he use the sword as, like, bait? The chandelier's fixed. He threw his weapon as bait. Okay, he did. How skillful. Oh, shit. They're elite. Well, I expected that. I expected that. Oh, gosh. I expected that from a few of them. The board does that. Yeah. Okay. Now we're getting. Yep. Yo. Is she got flame bone already. Ho <laughs> ho. Nah, it's your hero versus everyone now. It's your hero versus the world. Okay, this is sick. This is sick. Okay, okay. But once Sheba comes in, I feel like Sheba's gonna handle a great deal of them. I can see Sheba fighting um, this group right here, the one that's on the chandelier, and Chihiro fighting. Um, I forget. I forget what that character name is. Um, Hayuki. Hayuki. I can see Chihiro fighting Hayuki, while the rest of them uh, fight Shishiba. Or damn, Sheba. I keep saying Shishiba. But yeah, fire chapter. Excuse me, fire chapter. This week for Shonen Jump has been great. This has been a great week for Shonen Jump. But yeah, if you guys want to see more Kagura Bachi, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell notification that way you'll know what's out. If you like the video, give it a like. If not, give it a dislike. Doesn't really matter to me. If you want to see more of me, catch me on Twitter. If you know, you know. And until then, you know where to find you know.